Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This time we are going to be consistent. For the first time ever with YouTube, I pledge to myself to post consistently because I have been asked so, so many times for so many years to do this and I have never committed to it. So here I am committed to it. Let's go. Post times 7pm on a Wednesday and 12 noon on a Sunday. That's what we're going to start off with, see if we can do that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can manage, um, even if it's just one a week. We will make sure we at least get in one YouTube video per week. Okay, so this video is da -da 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 -da, how to be productive during lockdown. We're gonna start off. Tea. No, I'm joking, it's not tea, it's coffee because I'm literally addicted to coffee. I'm gonna say addicted, right? One year, I said to myself, how strong is my mindset? Can anyone stick to an entire year's worth of a New Year's resolution? Yeah. Oh, um, you know, basically, I was addicted to coffee. Well, I thought I was addicted to coffee. Turns out I wasn't as addicted as I am now. Let's go an entire year without having a single coffee. Guess who managed it afterwards? I drank so much more coffee. So now I'm even more addicted. Being productive during lockdown. The first, I would say most essential thing to do is decide what you would like to get out of this period of time. What are your goals? Now those goals don't have to necessarily be things that you want to achieve uh, regards to like career or a side hustle or anything, like obviously they can be, but they could also just be things such as take better care of myself, make sure I actually start up a skincare routine, spend more time with family and I relax more, working out more or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be something long term, although it could be. So it could be that you're saying to yourself, right, I've wanted to do this for ages, so I'm going to start and make it a routine now. What you need to do with that is you grab a pen and paper, note down the top three to five things you want to get out of lockdown. And then the best part of practice going forward from that is to set yourself daily targets. You shouldn't be planning your day in the morning. What you should be doing is planning the night before. If you plan your day the night before, you go to bed knowing what you're getting up for. You don't go to bed thinking, oh my God, there's a thousand of my things. <laughs> Instead, it should be you're struggling to sleep because you're so excited about all the things you've got to do tomorrow. Plan your day the night before, um, say hour by hour, even more briefly, and you just say, right, these are the things I want to achieve tomorrow. That is my main priority. Um, this needs to be done by this time, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's a structure for my day. And stay in some form of routine. I know it's hard and it's difficult for everyone, especially at this period of time, everyone is going crazy with anxiety. Um, and even when you are trying to be positive and you are feeling positive, there are still moments where you're like, what is going on right now? Because everyone is out of their comfort zone. None of us have ever, ever, ever and I mean none of us experienced this before. Nobody knows any better than you. Everyone needs to just focus on themselves and the people that they're locked down with at the minute and what they're gonna do going forward. Planning the night before, it's always best to have four kind of categories of things that you're gonna fit into. So something to keep your mind healthy, something to keep your body healthy, something to improve and something social. If you do all four of those things, you're gonna feel balanced, you're gonna feel happy, you're gonna feel healthy, you yourself time to also um, alleviate stress and focus on your mental health and make it even healthier. With doing so, you might wanna meditate. Meditation is amazing. Honestly, it literally opens your mind to this whole new world, like seriously. I don't mean you have to sit there and be like, um, you have to sit there and just let your thoughts pass. Like even just saying that makes me relax. Like if you sit there and just like, okay. And then you're just gonna think of your thoughts like cars passing by, right? So imagine you're sat on a wall, like say on your road or on a main road, or you're just sat on the wall, just chilling, sun's out and stuff and you're literally just letting the cars just pass. 
So that is your thoughts. So when a car comes, you just let it come and you let it go. That is meditation, okay? It's learning to master your own thought process. Do not give in to every single thought that enters your head because if you give in to every single thought that enters your head, you're not going to get anywhere. In fact, you're probably going to go down a very, very negative path. Once you have relaxed your mind, it's always a good idea to do that in the morning as well. Um, you might want to tie in with stretching or with gratitude practice. Another excellent thing to practice in the morning and of an evening. But there's two different ways of practicing that, so we'll move on to gratitude now. For meditation, you might want to download the app Headspace if you haven't got it already. It's literally just like an orange circle, the logo for it. You'll find it dead easy um, and I can't recommend it enough. Moving on to gratitude. If you haven't read the book The Secret, definitely get hold of The Secret and start reading The Secret. It's something you need to read. It will help you so much in life as a whole, but also in this current period of time. You will learn to think entirely differently. And you'll be grateful for everything that comes your way. Practicing gratitude in the morning, you might want to write down 10 things you are grateful for or you have to be grateful for today. Thank you for them. So I thank the universe because I believe in that you give out to the universe, the universe gives back to you. I say thank you for each of those 10 things and then you're going to do it every morning to the point where you're going to read over the ones from the day before and the day before that and the day before that each morning. So then it gets to a point where you just realise, oh my god, look how many things I have to be grateful for. Why am I feeling sad? But you won't feel sad anymore because you'll just be so unbelievably amazed at how many incredible things are going on in your life. Another amazing pointer with gratitude practice is in the evening thinking of the most amazing thing that happened that particular day. Choose like um, a gratitude rock or a gratitude stone and put it next to your bed and then hold it and even just holding it you'll start to feel grateful. Once you're holding it, you think of the most amazing thing that happened that day, the thing that you're most grateful for. And in the process of that, you will start to think of several brilliant things that have happened throughout the day. Once you open your mind to think that way, you will start to be so much more calm, so much more patient. And you'll realise that you can go to bed calm, relaxed, and not worrying about unnecessary things. Exercising, make sure you are exercising. I found that at the moment, I'm actually really enjoying exercising in the morning and in the afternoon, because if I, if I don't exercise first thing in some way or another, I lack concentration throughout the day. And then up, get going, get in a frame of mind where I am being productive. If I think to myself, oh, I need to work out later, that seems to be all I think about. So, and you just get in this cycle of like thinking you're being productive, but you're really not being productive at all. Work out in the morning, release those endorphins, feel stress free, and just release yourself. Let your mind go, let your body go, just feel good. You want to be eating fresh food and now I know a lot of people are doing this anyway at the moment because it's kind of all we can do but it's also hard when you can't necessarily go out to the shop so I understand that like for me if I run out of like healthy snacks at the minute I am just eating like wh whatever it is in so that might be like chocolate or crisps or something but it kind of doesn't really matter for me at the minute because my goals are to gain weight so yeah it might not be the most healthy method of doing so but I'd rather do that than have to go to the shop every two minutes because you can't go to the shop every two minutes. Like, usually if an evening, if I get to a point where I'm like, right, I need a snack and I've not got anything, I'd go to the shop and I'd go and get like wheat of it or fruit or, you know, just things that are low in, low in fat, low in calories, etc, etc. Doesn't matter. Sure, you're cooking nice, healthy meals, you're feeling good, and you're eating fresh food, getting a healthy, balanced diet. Make sure you're getting your greens. Don't omit anything, just this is your time to take time with your cooking. We are being very productive if we're doing all those things. 
and as you go through the day, check off everything on your list that you have to do that day. Give yourself some sort of structure and then at the end of the day, you can go through and think, wow, I've actually achieved all that I've set out to do today. And you'll feel unbelievable going to bed. You'll actually feel satisfied because you know you've made something of your day instead of just wasting it sitting around doing nothing. Now, by all means, that can be part of your plan. Like you could plan to watch a few episodes of something on Netflix or whatever you find entertaining and genuinely enjoy. Make sure you're making time for it. Make sure you're making time for all of those things. Things to be productive, things to look after yourself, your mental health, just caring for yourself in general, your physique, your body, just moving around, getting exercise, keeping your heart healthy and keeping your muscles and your bones and everything healthy and that comes through nutrition as well, making sure you're getting all the nutrients you need because it is difficult at the moment, it's more challenging than usual because you've got to plan ahead but that's also a good thing because it's making us all practice such a better routine like I bulk by each week anyway I know what I'm going to eat for the week so if you're not someone who does that at the moment I'm quite sure you will be doing that so again you've already improved in some way or another I mentioned it at the beginning but I want to reiterate it is we are all currently out of our comfort zones every single one of us now you're already out of your comfort zone why not push yourself a little bit further out of it, leap. Instead of just having jumped out of it, go and do something that you've been waiting so long to do. Like the amount of people who have started posting videos and tutorials and everything at the moment, it's just amazing because people have finally like found, a, found an excuse because everyone can be like, oh, I'm bored, so I'm gonna do this. No, just go and do it. You don't need an excuse. You don't need an excuse. Just do it. Please, honestly, just go and do whatever you want to do. Use this time wisely. Because it is never, ever, going to happen again. If it does, then you'll know how to handle it. You know how to make the most out of it, so you won't be as shocked next time if that ever occurs, which I can't see it ever occurring in our lifetime again. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Please, please make sure to subscribe below. Um, and hop over to my TikTok where I am doing daily workouts live. I'm posting so much content on there at the moment. I'm going to be releasing a private Facebook group with live videos um, for workouts and classes as well and also follow my Instagram if you don't already that's Robin Hoskin Fit on Instagram and Robin Hoskin on TikTok. Please 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 leave me a like and a subscribe. Okay so I'll see you soon. Love ya and leave ya. Have a very productive day.